Cochin Shipyard Limited has launched three state-of-the-art vessels, an anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft, a hybrid electric methanol ready commissioning service operation vessel, and the country's largest trailer suction hopper dredger. A new India Today report says that in the recent Indian Army trials at high altitude ranges, none of the 46 Indian drone companies could perform in GPS denied conditions, and the drones lost control and crashed or went off course within minutes. Indoor based PSAF Technologies has successfully tested its Nabrak Shuck grenade dropping drone system. The Indian Army conducted a four-day tri-service multi-domain exercise under the aegis of Northern Command Headquarters, setting new benchmarks in preparedness for next-generation conflicts. Pune-based drone Acharya has bagged a contract from the Indian Army for the supply of 180 FPV drones. The DRDO and the Indian Navy are gearing up for a dynamic ship-based helicopter launch trial of the short-range naval anti-ship missile replicating real combat conditions at sea. Bangalore-based Tunbo Imaging has successfully completed the advanced firing trials of its Fury Fire Control Site, for 84mm rocket launcher along with the Indian Army. The Brazilian Army has shown strong interest in the indigenous Garuda 105 V2 ultra-lightweight mobile artillery system, and Brazil is exploring a transfer of technology deal with Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited enabling local production and customization. Lockheed Martin has unveiled the S-70 UASU Hawk, which is an autonomous version of the UH-60L Black Hawk helicopter developed by Sikorsky, that can carry up to 4 tons of payload, a range of around 2,960 km, and can loiter for up to 14 hours. Embraer has officially inaugurated its India office in New Delhi, marking a major step towards strengthening partnerships with India's defence and aviation sectors. Lucknow-based PTC Industries has received the DRDO's letter of technical acceptance for the indigenous development and production of titanium rear fin root casting for the AMCA program. Early estimates place the AMCA's initial cost at $140 million per jet. But once serial production scales up, the price could drop below $120 million per unit. PTC Industries has received a letter of technical acceptance from the RDO Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification, for the indigenous development and production of oil tank assembly titanium castings for the dry cavalry engine program. The Tejas Mark II will be India's first indigenous fighter jet to incorporate an auxiliary computer, alongside the digital flight control computer and mission management and display computer, and this tri-computer architecture boosts Tejas Mark II's safety redundancy and mission efficiency. The Indian Air Force is adopting a phased induction plan for 114 Rafale fighter jets starting with the Rafale F4.1 standard, and transitioning to the advanced F-5 version by 2030. The F-4.1 standard jets are prioritized for early delivery, while the future F-5 variants will introduce AI-driven systems, higher thrust engines, and manned-unmanned teaming with drones. Meanwhile, India's existing 36 Rafale F-3R fighter jets will undergo mid-life upgrades to the F-4.1 standard, later integrating select F-5 features to maintain fleet uniformity and operational superiority. Russian officials have assured India that once the long-delayed AL-51 F-1 engine completes testing and enters serial production, it will replace the AL-41 F-1 engines on the export variant of the Su-57 offered to the Indian Air Force. The AL-51 delivers about 110 kN dry thrust and 175 kN with afterburner, enabling true supercruise and enhanced stealth efficiency. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.